Christoph Bauer is back on the hunt for classic vehicles from automobile history at the Zeithaus Museum in Wolfsburg. He's going to take one for a test drive. This time, he's chosen the most innovative sports car of the 50s, the Lotus Elite. Just over a thousand of this model were built between 1957 and 1963. With this ultralight coupe, the founder of Lotus, Colin Chapman, offered drivers a vehicle for everyday use. Colin Chapman. These are Christoph says Colin Chapman was a legend, an ingenious race car designer who pioneered lightweight models. He wanted everything to be elegant. His motto was, the best race car is the one that falls apart after crossing the finish line. Between 1963 and 1978, Colin Chapman's racing team chalked up six driving titles and seven constructor's titles from Formula One and the 24-hour of Le Mans. But its lightweight construction also claimed several victims. Formula One legends Jim Clark, Jochen Rindt, and Ronnie Peterson were in fatal accidents with the Lotus. Our test driver explains that he's sitting in the first Lotus built for regular road traffic, the E-Lite, but he wonders how long the test drive will take. That's a valid question because the E-Lite marks a moment when new technical ground was broken. The body and chassis are constructed completely from synthetic material, which are connected to create a lightweight vehicle. But it took more than 20 years for this fiberglass monocoque to gain popularity. As Christoph tells us, Chapman prized a car's racing ability above all else. He had clear priorities when designing the E-Lite. It needed to have racing capability and a chance at a class victory in the 24 hours of Le Mans race. Well, it should be suited for the road too. Thanks to the revolutionary fiberglass monocoque, the E-Lite weighs only a little more than 500 kilograms. It can accelerate to a top speed of 210 kilometers per hour, despite having a sports car limited engine capabilities. A driver, Christoph Bauer says, with its famous Coventry Climax four-cylinder engine, the Lotus E-Lite packs 95 horsepower from 1.2 liters. But it still manages to tear down the road. No wonder the engine was originally designed for fire engine water pumps. Siena, a medieval jewel in the heart of Tuscany. The Lotus draws everyone's gaze, just like it did when it made its debut at the Earl's Court Motor Show in London. 1950, Our driver explains that the Lotus Elite was a total hit in 1957. It was the world's first production car with unitized fiberglass construction. The entire chassis and floor were made with fiberglass, which were fused together. And the whole thing weighed just 100 kilograms. Christoph says that's just sensational. It has a 0.29 drag coefficient, and as he points out, it was designed to provide as little wind resistance as possible. That gives the Elite a few more kilometers per hour. And on top of all that, it looks great. Even without the benefit of a wind tunnel test or computer simulations, Lotus designer Peter Kerwin Taylor and aerodynamic specialist Frank Costin created a shape with less drag than almost anything that had come before it. Form and function are also in unison in this car's interior. Low position seating and a short, swift moving gear shift and a wide variety of instruments lets you know exactly what's happening with the 1.2 liter Coventry Climax four-cylinder under the hood. This fine mix of features is as impressive now as it was five decades ago. At that time, journalists said this model had the agility of a hare. Christoph says that a real racing car can be found underneath this fiberglass shell. Its chassis and disc brakes are actually from Formula 2 vehicles. By the end of the 50s, the E-Lite was being celebrated for its unbeatable ability to take on curves. And Christoph says it's a lot of fun to drive. Wahnsinnig Spaß. 
Now this vehicle came at a hefty price for car lovers, but it was possible to buy its parts from the company at a reduced price and assemble it yourself, much to the delight of hobby mechanics across Britain at the time. Our test driver warns that this car isn't comfortable the way today's models tend to be. Ergonomics was the order of the day. Everything here is designed around the driver, the steering wheel, the gear shift, and even the pedals. You really feel like you are built right into the perfect vehicle. Our one criticism is that at some speeds, the fiberglass body starts to vibrate. That creates a gentle buzzing. But for a true connoisseur, a little buzz makes it all the better. In 1957, Christoph tells us, the Lotus Elite was by far the most radical and modern sports car available. With its revolutionary design, it served as the pattern for all other race cars and super sports cars with monocoque. This makes the Lotus Elite one of the true greats in car history. These days, the E-Lite costs a good 60,000 euros. That's quite a hefty price tag, but you get everything the car stands for. Refined aerodynamics, well-developed chassis, revolutionary technical solutions, and an ultralight vehicle with high-quality parts. <laughs>